a delayed good morning. Day 40 begins with all manner of difficulties, including this fly that's buzzing around me right now. He wouldn't let me kill him before I started the video. Now I see it. <laughs> I have killed like about 20 pounds of flies on this trip so far. Uh, I just gotta pat my pockets. Make sure everything's where it should be. This pack dried so well that I'm constantly checking to make sure stuff hasn't like fallen off. It's, it seems like it's not there. Anyway, the river's starting to go down a little bit, but not much. It's still roaring. I put on dry socks today in honor of drying things out yesterday because the socks didn't dry. They were pretty wet. Um, I can feel well in the sunlight. It's so bright out here. So yeah, uh, I was just about to leave and the fresh battery that I put in the GoPro last night uh, was completely discharged. So, <laughs> this darn thing is haunted, I'm telling you. They're kind of expensive, so I hesitate to buy a new one, but I think it might be fun. Maybe Santa. If you know anybody who knows Santa. Oh, look at that. It's Deer Mountain. Maybe someday I'll come back and day hike. But as a through hiker, <laughs> I have always skipped that mountain. I don't take side trails. Sometimes Percy. If it's a beautiful day and I'm feeling sprightly. Especially if I've camped at the Percy tent site. Because it's right around the corner. If I've hiked all the way up there, I'm less likely to go up to the top. But yet today we have a lovely return hike to Tillotson. This time via the Coas. Upper Black Cat. Some little lumpy hills here. I'll remember how to hike again. It's just road here for a little bit. It'll become trails shortly. But that's what I need to do is remember how to walk on trails. Because we've been road walking for a while. It's a totally different step. You gotta pick up your feet a lot more when you're hiking. Road walking, you just barely pick up your feet. Try not to walk too far. You can't lengthen your stride. There's a temptation on the road to lengthen your stride and it'll destroy your feet. You have to take short steps. It seems counterintuitive, but. I've had a lot of time to think about this. I've talked to the foot doctor about it. We all agree. Road walking is bad for your feet. Ah. Uh, all right, well, there's your morning babble. Day 40 has begun. This is insane. We're just a little over two weeks away from being able to go home. That's a concept that's really hard to fathom. It was months away when we started. I didn't really want to think about it, but now, now I can see it there on the horizon. I'm starting to think about it. There's like unlimited electricity and water in there. And a lot of other nice things at home. You get there by walking. Just like every place else. You gotta keep walking. Shining. We're gonna get 40 percented on later, so that's why we're putting our miles in now if we can. Let's 
see how wet this grass is. I've got dry socks on. Please don't make my socks all wet. <laughs> all right. I told you everything would be better when we got to the coal house. It's just better here. Doing a little trail work as I go. I came across this creek running down Upper Black Cat. It's because these water bars were all plugged up. So I opened that up earlier than I thought, well, hey, I should show you what a good hiker does <laughs> when they've got time and they care. If you see a water bar that could use a little help, give it a little help. Because that was running for, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards downstream, down trail. But yeah, the, the rains, they scrub the trail, the whole forest, the leaves. And then they build dams in places like that, so. It may have just been fine last week, but it takes constant effort. So that's why I say if you see it, it's like stick flicking. If you see a stick, you could flick it. It doesn't take much effort if you've got a stick in your hand already. Well, I should turn this off. I don't know how much battery I'm going to have. So It's beautiful out here. This bridge is just so coloss that every hike when I come through here I have to pull out the camera. They could have made you walk through the water. There's a highway right there. They could have said, go up there if you want a bridge. No. This is the coloss. It's not like that long trail. It tries to kill you. This trail is very welcoming. I feel welcomed. My socks are still dry. I don't mean to jinx myself, but... <laughs> Second Connecticut, looking much happier. Sun shining, birds singing. Not sure if that's the dam or the rocks below the dam making all that noise over there. There's no construction going on. That's Mother Nature. There's a lot of water. I think the lake is full. To the brim. Well, I gotta see if I can get out of here without getting into deep water. This is the trail, but I'm afraid it may also be a little swampy over here. I will catch you 
in the falls from the river. That river is going to be ripping. It's probably going to make for a heck of a waterfall down there. The falls. One and a half miles. You see any trout fishermen today? Normally there's a lot of fisher people. But I don't think the fishing is so good when the river's like this. Thankfully they put up a sign, because otherwise you might walk by and not even notice it. This baby is high. There's normally rocks here with people sunbathing on them. <coughs> Yeah, you don't want to go in there. Definitely with some flooding in here. You can see he washed the bog boards downstream. Luckily they didn't get away. The stairs are kind of pushed to the side. But the bridge, the bridge remains solid. I think they just rebuilt this one a couple years ago. Yeah, that's rock solid. Yeah, the stairs over here are fine. Yeah. You could see that was up to there. The clouds, they're gathering. It's gonna 40% on us before we get there, I'm pretty sure. It's traditional. But, I can't hike any faster or I'll get really sweaty and then I'll be soaking wet. So it doesn't, doesn't really help. <laughs> I got pretty sweaty earlier hiking down to the falls. I'm trying to take it a little easier now. But yeah, we're not gonna stop for lunch. We're just gonna keep toddling. This is lovely. Well mown in the middle of nowhere. You love it. But yeah, we'll try and get there when we can. Avoid as much of the rain as we can. I will not. All right. We are on the bog board trail now. Moose Alley behind us. No moose. Got about two miles of this with a big hill at the end of it, as I recall. And we will be back at Route 3. Take a chance there's still water running there at Tillotson. Not bring any with us. Normally we'd fill up along this trail at the bridge. Coon Brook. Whew. 
Whew. Hot, trying to conserve water. So I don't want to work too hard. Still trying to remember how to hike. But it's a beautiful day in the forest. It hasn't started raining yet. It feels tropical, but as long as it doesn't let loose before we get there. Well, I'll show you a few seconds of bog board when we get there. Coon Brook. It's flowing. It's usually a tiny little trickle. They were wise to make the bridge as high as they did. Sometimes it's a brook. This is so much nicer with the new bridge. The repairs. There used to be some rotten boards. It was quite scary. Certainly if there was this much water under it, it would be scary. Now, it's luxurious. I'm not sure if this is a snowmobile trail or if this is just a footbridge. It's a lovely bridge. And then we will reach the bog boards. These boards go on for quite some time. I forget how far. Hundreds of yards, I think. Ah, but yeah, I'm gonna have to put down the camera because we're playing this game here today where the trail's trying to kill me, so. But yeah, bog boards, they're beautiful. Hey, we made it. Hilton. We've been here a while. I've been hanging out. I made a bag of water. I drank some water. I made some soup. I ate some soup. I'm low on coffee. I'm not really sure. I think I might have one tube to spare. I suppose I could have a small coffee. The laundry is out drying. I, I have to admit those dry socks they got wet today. That trip. It was wet, <laughs> but we did what we could, and they're drying out now. They're, oh, I should bring those wet ones out too, I think, <laughs> the ones that didn't dry from yesterday. But yeah, we're in uh, Tillotson territory again. There's water here right now. There's a lot of water here right now. It can't be very good water, because it dries up. So that means it's really just runoff, but but it's running pretty good right now. So. Yeah, it's got some color to it. It's not like it's spring water, but uh, yeah, forty days. This is nice because I have this set up so the uh, the koas is done at a very relaxing pace for the most part compared to the rest of the trip, which was high miles and go, go, go. And most days I should be able to get to camp early. Tomorrow we're going to try to get up really early, get our miles in. And maybe go hang out at that restaurant again for a while. Otherwise, we'll head down to Lake Francis. We've got a prime spot at Lake Francis. Right on the water. That air-conditioned restaurant with beer and food, well, can't really compete. Alright, well... 
that's um see it's 40 days <laughs> it's just starting to make me laugh because there aren't that many days left there's there's two weeks and two days left four or three days depending on how you want to count them but but yeah it won't be long i think today's wednesday i go home on a saturday Couple of weeks, couple of days, be enough day. I'm starting to think about going home. I should probably focus on what I'm doing. Important hiking business. Yeah, this is a co-op. This is like my victory lap as far as I'm concerned. Theoretically, everything's gonna go really well. The sun's gonna shine. It's all going to be good. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.